It originally goes back to about 2008 when British Waterways at the time were thinking about how we could bring new audiences to the waterways across the country and how we can get people to engage in them in a very different way. Looking at how can we use temporary art to bring these new audiences to the waterways. As the authority to sort of look after the canal we get some complaints about graffiti and tagging. It divides opinion so much, you know, some people love it and some people, um, you know, hate it. And, and we wanted to really think about how we could come up with a creative way to tackle it and, and inspire new audiences. Well then we, was, we started thinking as the legacy list how we were going to do this and we already had a partnership with Bloomberg, a fantastic partnership. And so we then did a competition, that's right, we talked to you about doing a competition and uh, we wanted somebody really great to curate this. And we got C. De Lewis in as the curator. But it wasn't just about street art. Then, no, remember. that's right. We'd opened it out yeah, to say, yeah, well, this is, exactly. not, this is not about street art per se. It's about how can we use yeah. these walls for all sorts of it different It was about styles connecting art. people in the water, wasn't it? Because yeah. I mean, some of them would have music and all sorts. I can't quite remember all the presentations now. Green walls. Yeah, well. that's right. Green <coughs> walls. Yeah, I remember that. So, yeah. But Cedars was really strong, and he was talking particularly about international artists really strongly about international artists and I remember in the interview saying if we do this and we go the international artist route you know we will get flack mm. because people locally will say well why are you bringing in international artists and we absolutely wanted to do that people who whose work had never been seen here in this country well that's why I remember Cedar saying that their work hadn't been seen in the UK. But I also think Hackney Wick for us as well you yeah. know with 2,000 miles of canals and rivers around the country if there's one area that we could trial this new way of, okay. of you know showcasing street art well, of course it had to be yeah, Hackney Wick. There's probably right. no other place in, in the country and, you know, that we could have done that and it's, it feels right. I think the canals are, are a democratic space and there's lots of expression of, of art and, and, and talent here. Um, but we wanted to open up to a really big audience and get other people that are not from Hackney Wick necessarily to come and showcase some of their talent in this area. And what has been demonstrated by the feedback we've had from visitors and boaters and walkers is that they really like what we've achieved here. Um, it, it has been difficult because there are local people that think this is their sort of manner and actually they, these are their walls, this is their canal. But the canals are for everybody and we'd really like to you know, offer, offer that up to everybody. Um, so we, we're really happy that you know, it started a dialogue. The other thing that we wanted to do was an, an international residency as well, so that local street artists went to, po or they're going to go to Poland and Brazil, Brazil and that had never happened before. So it's an, it was another They can first. export their talents to yeah. an international audience. Exactly. And then there's all the other walls still to do. Absolutely, there's a lot to do, so. <laughs> first day I came to see Mark and Teo in the flesh, on the canal, just moving, brilliant, working, brilliantly together on this piece behind us and the just the accuracy of Teo's sort of swirls that he was creating of this sort of spring-like effect on the wall and as soon as I came down I thought wow this is going to be impressive and if all the walls are as, as detailed as this as, as, as bold as this we are going to end up with something very very strong and I was just delighted to see that happen and I think as I say we were always a little bit cautious because it's never happened before and just to think wow this on such a scale is going to send such a great yeah. statement. It, was, it amazed yeah. me. And I've, I've loved the films. The films have been brilliant. brilliant. I actually also really enjoyed the moment when we launched the floating cinema. And so I was standing on the, on the floating cinema on the boat that was right here. Absolutely. Teo right there, you know, knowing that Hector Hector's piece is Cezau, up there. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Cezau up, Cezau underneath, Hector Hector up, up on top. And for me, a really special moment in Hector Hector is, you know, the little boy, Ben, yeah. the one that um, was in the, the class uh, and absolutely loved the artist, followed the artist, and then the artist put his name into his piece. Absolutely. And yes. you just know that, you know, you can't categorise these things, but you just know that will made, have made a change in that child's life. Yeah. And then, of course, they've got their piece on in the... the Games for School Walk, which is School lovely. Yeah. It's fantastic. I think what's great about it is that you know, we can, through different phases of this project, work on different styles of art, yeah, exactly. using different artists, right. engaging different people. Yeah. Um, and it's great to just see a whole myriad of I different agree. artworks that do connect those mind. spaces that link you know, Hackney Wick to yeah. other parts of Tower Hamlets and Hackney, and then you know, potentially the rest of London's canal network. Because yeah. you know, be now that this river is so, you know, this is the USP of the park, I always think, don't you? You know, the river right there. Now it's opened up and widened, everyone's going to start going up and down. It'll connect everything completely differently. Absolutely. In a way that it didn't before, because people half, half the time it was a no go it was area. It was a no go area. And, yeah, exactly. and what these projects have really done is, is actually to do what we thought we 
we try and do is just bring new audiences to the yeah. canal. Floating Cinema has done that. You know, this art project has done yeah. that. So we're going to continue. Definitely. So, um, so 2020 back here, 20 walls. Absolutely. <laughs>